I'm going to talk about as well. That's that will spoil the video. Okay, now we already covered the pastel triangle previously, and you also also cover permutations and combinations. But the topic we discussed in the Pascal triangle video, the binomial theorem, is still not covered. So we'll cover it today. So our topic for today is the binomial theorem. So let's begin diving into it first. Okay, so let me just take this. Okay. Okay, now. So first, let's us draw the, you know, Pascal's triangle first. So let, let me draw it. Okay, now. Let me just try it. Okay, now let me just try it, okay. Okay, so okay, uh, it's almost complete. Let's see. So okay, so we draw the Pascal's triangle now, and there's plenty of things we didn't discuss in that video, like what happens when you add each, we add each row, it becomes a power of two. 2 to the power of n, of n. Let's say row n, and all the numbers, the sum of all the numbers in row n is equal to 2 to the power of n. 2 to the power of n. Okay, now. And you also discussed your binomial coefficients. First. Let's see. Now, we'll just create the line, okay? Now, we also understand that permutations and combinations in our last video and we're just going to need combinations here okay first let me list the formulas of a square wait not a square though let me a plus b to the whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and a a plus b cube which is equal to a cube plus plus it plus well actually three a square b plus three a b square plus b cube. Okay, now so here are the formulas. Now first, you might notice one thing though. First, we talked about binomial coefficients. Binomial coefficients, but we're just going to leave that out of the video today. So, first, let's say we have a number. Let's say two. You want to calculate the number. Number. 2C0, 2C1, and 2C2. What what will be it equal to? Oh. First, now. Okay, now. You could have just calculated in the formula. 2 factorial over, you know, 0 factorial times 2 minus 0 factorial. This will be always equal to 2 over... Well, you know, and that's equal to 1. Okay, now, 2C1 now. It'll be equal to 2 factorial over 1 factorial times 2. My 2 minus 1 factorial. Which will be, okay, now, 2 over, okay, now. Okay, now, this is 1 factorial. Okay, now, 1. equal to 2 over 1, which is already equal to 2. Now, 2C2. It'll be equal to 2 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 minus 2 factorial, which is 2 over 2, and that's 1. So we get the numbers as 1, 2, and 1, right? Yes, but notice something. Let's move on to, to the PT or Pascal's triangle side. 
You see now the upper numbers too. Now N C R so N is equal to two here. Now let, let's imagine row N. Now N is already equal to two here, so row two. Row two has the numbers one to one. And we already have the numbers one to one here. But does this work really? Let's move on to the third row and see if this works. We'll find we'll found find three C zero. 3C1, 3C2, and 3C3. So let's find all of those. 3C0, 3 factorial times 0 factorial times 3 minus 0 factorial. And that 12 is equal to 6 over, okay now. We're gonna 6, 1. Okay now, doing pretty good. Okay now, let's move on to the next one. It's equal to 3 factorial times 1 factorial divided by 1 factorial times 3 minus 1 factorial, which will be equal to, okay, now 6 at the top number, you know, 2 factorial is equal to 6, 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, now, okay, now this will be... Okay, now this will be 2 factorial, 2 and 1 factorial 1, 1 times 2 is going to just go to 2, which is going to 3. Next, 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 3 minus 2 factorial. Okay, now let's do this. Now, two fac 3 minus 2 factorial. Okay, now, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, and 1 factorial is equal to 1. Okay, now, and 2 factorial is equal to 2, which means the, the bottom side is 2, the upper side is 6, which is equal to 3. Now, 3C3, 3 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 minus 3 factorial. The, uh, okay, you know, this is equal to, you know, 1, 1. And we see there is 1, 3, 3, and 1, which are exactly the numbers in row 3. That means this works. Now, what does this conclusion bring us to? Well, first, before the conclusion, now let's just focus on the formulas. First, we talked about the binomial coefficients, which I'm going to write as BC. Let's say the coefficients of each. First, there is a square. Its coefficient is 1, 2AB, 2, and B squared, 1. Here's, there's also here, 1, 3, 3, and 1. Okay, now, there seems to be a pattern. These are the numbers in row 2 and row 3. So, now, what does that conclude? Let's see the powers of each number, of each variable. First, A. A cube. So, this is 3. A square. 2. A. So, this is the power of 1. You know, A to the power of 1, anything to the power of 1 is called so itself. And there is no, none here, zero, because a to the power of zero is equal to, or is equal to zero, or is equal to one, which doesn't mean nothing. Which means something, but when you multiply it to b cubed, it doesn't actually change the value. So three to one zero for a. It's in zero to three in decreased order. Now let's do it for b. Okay, now there's no b in the first one, zero, there's 1b at the second one, with no powers, 1. There's b square, 2, and b cube at the last one, 3. And look, a decreases, but b increases. I'm just representing them with letters. So, so we established a formula for our conclusion. So, let's just, you know, erase this all first. The formula is going to be a bit long, though. This conclusion will bring us to one conclusion. So now, first, now, let's talk about the entire thing the binomial theorem is based on. Finding a formula for every single. You know, finding formulas for a plus b to the power of 7, a plus b to the power of 14, or anything, anything. 
even a plus b to the power of let's say 10 million 254,361 it could even give us the formula of this big number okay now first well this one to be actually feasible though I don't know this will be doable though okay now here's a plus b to the power of n that's the entire thing the binomial theorem is based on so is equal to first for the binomial coefficients we talked about just okay now as we saw that every single binomial coefficient in a number is equal to rho in the Pascal triangle which we represented as n c n n will be the number of rho and this and r will be the position in the row so the formula for it is well first n c zero and then but there is one thing though what happens what happens with this though what happens with this now first a decreases now this is a power though a decreases its power so It'll be a to the power of n at the biggest one, and there'll be no b. Okay, now the next one would contain n c one, with a being a's power being one smaller, a, a to the power n minus one, and there will be one b as their zero and one. Next, then at the next one, it'll be n c two. It'll be a to the power n minus two. It'll be one smaller than even this one. It'll be a b square, you know. You know, this sequence. And this will be go on. Well, I'm, I'll just represent it with three dots. Because that's the official thing. To represent those. Until plus ncn with only b to the power of n here. No a's. Only b to the power of n. And ncn. And this is the entire binomial theorem. And that's it for the video. So thank you. Thanks for watching. And please make sure to like and subscribe. And comment. I don't know if you can comment. And, and uh, if you're new, then subscribe to our channel. And like the other videos. And comment. There's a few videos you can comment too. And make sure to share the videos on Facebook. And other, and other things. So bye bye.